Sweden is again making efforts to promote the Saab Gripen multi-role fighter for the Philippine Department of National Defenses (DND) multi-role fighter (MRF) program, which seeks to acquire up to 12 plus 2 new fighters for the Philippine Air Force (PAF). With a total approved budget of 61.2 billion pesos (1.11 billion United States dollars), with the defense budget for fiscal year 2024 said to be at least PHP 285 billion or 5.15 billion United States dollars, it is likely that the AFP modernization program will get at least PHP 100 to PHP 115 billion, a far cry from the usual PHP 25 to 30 billion allocated annually during the former president's administration. Due to period. DND spokesperson Arsenio Andalong said in a statement that Defense Secretary Teodora has emphasized the importance of modernizing the armed forces of the Philippines to be better able to protect the country's territorial integrity and interests in the exclusive economic zone, EEZ, adding that the minister has emphasized that defense acquisitions must also be sustainable, able operated, and supported. Additionally, he confirmed that the Horizon 3 phase will be a 10-year phase instead of 5 years meaning that the phase is now considered more realistic based on the total value versus the Philippine government's ability to provide funds annually. Defense Section Gilberto Teodora confirmed that the revised Horizon 3 phase RAF PMP procurement plan had been sent to Prey. Marcos and is expected to be approved soon. This increase will allow DND and AFP to not only pay MYOA installments for projects initiated in recent years, but also fund new projects of great value. According to at least two of our military sources, one of the reasons why the contract for the multi-role fighter has not been finalized is because approval of Horizon 3 is still pending, and initial funding is scheduled to be released only in 2024. DND previously announced that the MRF project has been included in the revised Third Horizon of the Armed Forces of the Philippines AFP, modernization program, which is scheduled to run from 2023 to 2027. Additionally, DND and AFP also appear to be working on several major projects in the early phases of Horizon 3, which we believe include plans to procure used F-16s and additional surface ships. DND spokesman Arsenio Andalong said at the time, officials discussed updates regarding the Philippines' defense modernization efforts, particularly regarding the Philippine Air Force's priority to enhance its surveillance and interdiction capabilities. The Philippines is looking for fourth generation or higher aircraft, suitable for enhancing external defense. Among the contenders for the acquisition are the Saab JAS-39, Gripen, and the Lockheed Martin F-16V, Viper, fighter jet. The MRF project falls under the Armed Forces of the Philippines, AFP, modernization program currently underway in its Horizon 3 phase. And of note, the Philippine Air Force is pursuing additional multi-role fighter jets and F-A-50s in its inventory, with each having 12 units or the equivalent of one squadron in the Air Service Branch, where the former can serve as a dedicated platform securing identification zones Philippine Air Defense or PADIZ. While the PADIZ primarily functions as a training platform, it also functions as a light fighter, a force multiplier for the multi-role fighter jet. Ultimately, it will be up to the discretion of the leadership of the Philippine Air Force, along with those in the Department of National Defense, whether acquisition plans to purchase more FA-50PHs can be implemented, as the government may have to prepare. In line with what Third Horizon might produce in 2023, with larger major projects intended to improve the armed forces of the Philippines and its overall capabilities through 2028.